Hello there everybody, welcome to another Alexa look. Today we're taking a look at Crown Trick, which is a, a new game published by Team 17, developed by Next Studios. And I actually played the beta for this game uh, a while back. I didn't play it on YouTube. Uh, the company was, was a little strange with how they wanted uh, content creators to cover their game. They, they didn't want any content on it. Um, so I, I played about uh, a half hour of it offline. Uh, and then kind of gave them a little bit of feedback and stuff like that. So uh, it's now it's now out uh, and we can play it. It's, it's having some rave reviews and I've heard some great stuff about it. It is a, a dungeon crawler of sorts, but it's very turn-based in the way that it does it. Uh, and there's, there's a lot of really interesting roguelite mechanics involved with this. So uh, we hop in, right? We hop in. Uh, and I, I would imagine there will be a little bit of a tutorial so that you can see everything going on with this one, but I, I highly expect that you guys will like this game a lot, because there, there is a lot of interesting stuff going on with it. So if you end up enjoying this a lot and you want to uh, have me play a little bit more, just let me know. As always, Alexa, look, uh, games can always turn into a, a full series, depending. Wake up for you are chosen. That's me. I'm a, a small anime girl. For the dawn will not grace with her presence those who refuse to open their eyes. This is very cryptic. Who is there? All right. Now we're in. We're in. You can kind of see how there's a, a grid-based uh, system here. So we can uh, move along the grid-based system. Now this is using a turn each time we do this, but we'll, we'll figure that out here shortly. We interact. It's the crown. It was fate that led you to this realm. Come forward, L. How'd you know my name? Because he stalks you. At least you're cautious. Hopefully the ignorance will become tolerable with time. We're currently in the realm of nightmares, also known as the US of A in 2020. Here I am, what humans would consider omniscient. I know everything about you, L, your name, your past, even the purpose of your little trip to this realm, what you did in your bed last night. Nightmares have brought forth disasters and chaos as creatures on earth suffer in endless agony. The world itself is on the brink of destruction. As the chosen hero, you are the one they dumped all their responsibilities on. I do like how the chosen hero is a random anime girl with pink hair. You're the one destined to venture into the unknown and save the whole world. How do you know all this? Are you in charge of the nightmare realm? Are you causing pain and suffering for people? Question mark, space, exclamation point. Ever so eager to arrive at erroneous conclusions, how typical of your kind. Very, this, this crown is a little sassy, to be honest. In the presence of the observer, guardian of the nightmare realm. He possesses no true name. Okay. Lord, 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 Lord. A human by the name of Vlad. I, I'm not even going to comment on it. Do you know where he is? Patience. Nightmare Realm. If you're interested in the lore, you can pause and you can read it. I will accept the crown's offer because I feel like if I decline, it just closes the game. Uh, so let's, let's just do it. And we go. So I am now wearing the crown. I am the one true L anime girl of the century. It's absorbed every drop of power. How fickle the human heart. Few spells. Let's go forth. Let's do it. Let's do it. I want to get to the gameplay. You know me. The The game is all about the gameplay for me. The lore is a little bit of a it comes second. <laughs> so, time will only uh, flow when I move. So take your time. A lot of thinking. A lot of uh, understanding. So... We can also skip turns by pressing X, which is, is very valuable because otherwise I would just get stomped in this place. They should have had one move awkwardly so it broke the pattern and then I just completely messed up in the tutorial. It would have made me very happy. All right, interact. We are, we are the novice treasure hunter and I have encountered the spear of the defender. Okay. So this does 23 damage, 5% uh, on this. I don't know what this is, actually. Uh, increased crit chance by 5%. And you can see how it attacks, uh, which is also quite valuable. It's quite valuable. Okay. Let me help you with that now. Your first objective, break those crates. Okay. So I will attack with boink, and it breaks both of them. I will attack with boink, it breaks both of them. Give me that moolah. Okay. Boink, 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 he, she, she hit in the wrong direction, but that's fine. And look at this little level th level three enemy. Get get destroyed. Get destroyed again. It killed him. No, he's stunned. 
Get dead. Okay. Fair enough. If it works, it works. Uh, we do have to... Okay, so that actually cannot hit him. Fair enough. So that should hit both of them. Now, we're taking a little bit of damage in the process, but... That's okay. We, we took a tiny amount. Remember, you can change directions in place. Sometimes it's a better option than... You just you just hit shift. <laughs> you don't you don't just jump into the void, Tyler. Not not really the the greatest play I've ever had. But we're smacking. We're smacking. They don't stand a chance against a a true wizard of my kind. All right. Hello pigeon. A valid strategy is wait in place or do an empty swing to force the flow of time. Enemies will have no choice but to initiate. Okay. So, do I want to skip my turn, though? I do want to now, because now he's close enough that I can get... I, I... I... What is your problem? You need to hit the freaking pigeon. L, you dummy. Okay. <laughs> not, not a great start for me. Breaking enemies will make your attacks against them more effective... You can reduce the breakpoint of enemies by dealing damage. And when the enemy breakpoint reaches zero, they'll be stunned. Okay, so his breakpoint is three. It's reduced by one whenever he takes damage. Okay. So he's at two. He's at zero. And then we smack. That makes sense. That makes sense. So we're here. We hit him. He gets smacked. He, he's dead. I do like the game has... Is, this is a very... Uh, very good tutorial to be honest because th these little in-depth uh things on the sidebar make learning the game uh incredibly easy which makes me very happy okay he's an archer like 1000 percent, and he hits okay so he's more vulnerable when he's charging that's fair so we can break him it stuns him and then we can kill him okay now, this guy got alarmed by that. Are, are you charging? You are. You smack him, you break him. I can already tell that when we actually get into the game, there's going to be a lot more decisions uh, to make. But we will we will get there. I will say, this is already uh, more advanced than the, the version that I played a long time ago. So, uh, they've added a lot in the full release here. Sip from the elixir will do wonders for your vitality. Okay, elixir, hold F. Easy enough, dude. Easy enough. Okay. We go. We go. And we go down, and I'm going to imagine that our game will begin. <laughs> because I am, uh, I have learned the game. I know what's going on, and we'll be able to, to successfully win. We're in the fringe of nightmares. This is just Florida. <laughs> Alright, what is this? We got some boots. We got some boots. Blink boots. Allow you to move to a specified location immediately. Oh my. Alrighty. But that uses blink charges. So we only have one more charge we can use, and now we're out of blinks. Fair enough. So he'll replenish my blinks. That's how you say those words. I will blink here. Fantastic. I love this, dude. That's very, very good. I enjoy that a lot. So, fire damage. So, any target within this tile will receive the scorched effect. So, 8% of your max HP every turn. That's that's a lot, to be perfectly honest. So, we do not want to be set on fire. I think that that's... Yikes. I think that that's probably one of those uh, very easy to understand things. I don't want to blink. That, that does not seem like a, an appropriate amount of money. They're dead. <laughs> Dude, friggin' yikes on these birds, though. Can I just blink out of here? I think the birds are dumb. I think that's what we've now learned, is the birds are a little dumb. That's fair. Hello, it's a, it's a boss. Okay. Familiars are stronger than normal enemies. Pay extra attention when you deal with them. Okay. So, we want to just smack this. I'm gonna blink to here. Smack this. Hit him. Hit him. 
He did a normal attack. He hit me for 18. And then we... we He's stunned. And I can just murder his face. Beautiful. What a dodge, to be honest. He hit me for a little bit. He, he smacked me around a little bit. But I, I, I fully understand the fire breather. That went, that went insanely well. Oh, we gained them. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's interesting. So we can make an explosive bit. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my Lord. Look at this, dude. Look at freaking this. Okay. So what if I... So that's oil. Oh my Lord. Right, let's just chill. Let them let them come to us. Okay, dude. Now there's some strategy. There's some strategy that we're gonna have to employ. You you love to see it. I will blink real quick and I'll get the hell out of here. That's gotta be the tutorial, as I am now sitting on a crown. That is indeed a victory. Uh, he's so good that he completed the tutorial without dying. I honestly I feel like a million dollars. Now it's time to actually uh, succeed in the actual game because <laughs> that's that's where we're at now here we are what is this place the hall of reincarnation understood is the best way to say uh, it's a roguelite how do you propose that uh, do humans dream by entering a door dude this crown spends way too much time on online forums I'm gonna tell you all right so interact with this is this our uh, day one the realm of nightmares so I, I actually, I want to explore this place real quick because I'm the kind of person where uh, I want to know everything. It's a bunch of locked off stuff. That's fair. I'll enter the realm of nightmares. That's fine. I don't want that friggin' crown talking to me uh, ever again, though, to be perfectly honest. I'm ready to be hands off. Let me kill. And by kill, let me make poor decisions uh, while I walk around aimlessly, not knowing how to accurately do the strategy of the game. Okay. So I will interact with this. It's a familiar crystal, fair enough. I, I obviously would like to uh, use the fire breather because it's the only one I got. What's this? The Royal Rifle. Incredible, to be honest with you. The standard issue for the Royal Snipers. I pick it up. Look at this thing, dude. And then can I pick up this too? No, I can't. So this is an AOE. Uh, when you defeat an enemy with a normal attack, apply rooted to all enemies in the 3x3 area. That's really good. That's really good, but I, the royal rifle is too much of a meme for me to pass it up, I think. Oh, and look at this. It's a good thing I came over here, because we got a bunch of golden things. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, let's go. So we do have a map that we can see. There's also uh, clearly a bunch of, uh events and things like that that we can find in uh this realm so smack oh crap dude we have a reload on this interesting interesting okay and we have the bar where is this bar when an enemy is broken l's break gauge will fill up okay i see it it's right here i'm i'm stupid all right so we can attack this guy with a smack we reload we smack again we smack again i can reload with r fantastic you you've answered all my questions already and i haven't even asked them okay we're chilling what is this i feel like i should be able to go in there but i clearly cannot Okay. We continue. Reload, please. Alright. Frogs. What is there to see with this frog? They they have very... Confusing movements. That's a sword. Of destiny. Dude, the sniper is kind of legit. It's kind of legit. Let, let's take this. I think these are our little mana crystals. Okay, I was going to say, this This goes in, in right angles, so we will not be able to... Oh my god, she's so good. She's so good. Okay. Let's come here. Sniped. Sniped. You... 
Did she, did that fire back at me? Okay, hold up. Close. We're good. What is this? Okay, the Frosty Sword of Sorrows. <laughs> Just great names, man. They're great names. Um, so this attacks in a in a one by three column. Provides invulnerability towards all ice aspected attacks. I don't I don't think it's the move though. I don't think it's the move. I, there's there's obviously some interesting stuff, but. I, I think that the Royal Sniper is doing good stuff for me right now. Now, this dagger, I have a feeling the dagger is going to be the move. We'll see, though. Glass dagger is a relic. Okay, never mind. If undamaged during your turn, your crit will be increased by 20%. Last one turn. Okay. And character info is here. Oh my lord, lot to take in. So you can see our relics, cool. Encyclopedia, so this this will probably have everything. It's basically a, a bestiary plus uh, all of the things as well. Yeah, so relics. Yeah, okay, I understand. I understand. Achievements, archive, so all of... All, oh my lord, dude. That's 20 familiars. That's very good. Look at all the weapons. Holy crap, okay. So there's, there's, a, there's a legit amount of content in the game to see here this is a lot actually that that's a lot you love to see it okay we continue we continue what's going on here these contraptions are called waypoints they will be ready to use they can save time so they're a teleporter choose a waypoint teleport to it so look at this okay cool and i didn't have to use a blink which is uh even better i don't know why i feel like shooting this okay i did not need to shoot that I'm looking for, for secrets and things, right? What the hell is this? I will interact. Oh, boy. Okay. Holy water. What will your leap of faith be? So I can restore all of my... I, I, I don't need to restore my HP. I've taken 10 damage. But we'll keep this here in case we need to restore our HP in the nearby future. Although familiar skills and blink have proven to be useful, you might hesitate to use them when you're low on MP or blink usages. Okay. I will fully replenish your MP and blink usage every time you enter battle in a new area. Okay. So, that's that's actually kind of nuts, to be honest. But that's fine. Let's put an explosive barrel there. And that hits a 3x3 area, which will hit the other explosive barrel? No. Okay, that's fair. But, these guys are now... Jacked up. Right? So what if, what if I then used my... My fire breath? Wow, that just... That straight up torches them, dude. Which is extremely good. Okay, now we're gonna wait here. Wait here, wait here, smack. That sets him on fire. He's dead. <laughs> He's so good. He's so good. Wait here. Wait here. Smack. He's now... He's now upset. Okay. Do not. Scroll of Thunderstorm deals electricity damage to a maximum of five enemies. Okay. So that's a one-use item. Understood. Understood. I figured it would be. Uh, but I, I have a full understanding of the situation at hand. I mean, we handled that about as well as anyone could handle that. I, I like the fire barrel, to be honest. Okay, what, what was she saying? Okay, can I, can I hit you? I can't. You're dead. Good night. Good night, sweet prince. Good night. Reload, you're dead too. Hello, thanks a bunch. I'm sure your skills will be useful. We unlocked the Alchemist Barbara. <laughs> Truly the greatest uh, alchemist in the game, Barbara. Canned air, it's a relic. Looks like a blueprint to me. We need to go to Barbara, most likely. Okay. Hand in your blueprints there and they'll, they'll, they'll come in in the next stream. Fair enough. I'm with it. What are you saying? Thanks a bunch. You know somewhere safe? Shut up. Unless I have to actually talk to you. Do I have to talk to you? Do I have to come in here, interact with you? Okay, no, you just say the same damn thing. <laughs> just say the same damn thing again. Fair enough. 
fair enough. We interact. We interact. Holy money. Holy money. It's so much money. What is this? The Book of Maps is an ex exploration relic. Are all normal indicators of the minimap will be turned on? Okay. Um, I don't necessarily know what that means. Oh! Oh, I get it. Okay, so it puts the the things on the map even where we haven't been. Summon a random weapon. Oh my. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Uh, the Ruinous Duke. I am the Duke. 10% chance on attack to scorch enemy targets. This seems very good, but this is crazy. Immune to all drenched effects. When you blink, you have a 10% chance to consume no blink. It's 28 damage, man. We got to get a little closer to enemies, but that, that will work because of the blink. So uh, I, think, I think this is the move. I haven't even used the blink yet, but we will. Okay. So what's going on? Crystal awaits the power of your familiars. So what if I hit it? What if I hit it? I can't hit it yet. Okay. Just cancel that. I'm imagining that if I hit this... Well, can we double whammy, maybe? Okay, you're you're coming very close to me. I'm gonna blink. I'm gonna blink behind them. And then I'm going to look down. And I'm going to do this. Okay. So I torched him, but it actually did not really help me at all. This is also not really that good. This guy is now on top of me. Let's pop up. Smack him. I'm going to blink again. These, these, are, these are bad blinks, to be perfectly honest. I'm going to blink to right here. Smack him. Smack him again. I want to hit the barrel, but dude, hitting the barrels is now, uh, like, very sus to do so. Because we're, we're right next to him. Oh, is this another familiar, dude? Oh, let's go. Okay. The Swash Cluckler. Way better than the Swash Cuckler, to be honest, but it's fair enough. I did it. I did it. Okay. What is this? Shield generator. Generate a 30 HP shield. Cool. Okay, so we, dude, we have a, a chunk of items now. And this big chest has what? It's got what? It's got some whirlwind runes. Minor wind damage to a one tile. Oh my god, dude. We, we got so many items. There's so much. Summon a random relic. Here we go. When using a skill, there's a 20% chance that the MP cost will be reduced by 100% of its base value. When hitting an enemy without critting, obtain a plus 5% crit chance. It stacks. This seems very good, to be honest. More enemies in combat there are in a room, the more your P defense will be raised. I don't know what P defense means. I'm going to take this. I think this is good. I think that's very good. And then what's this? Is this just healing? No, it's just another familiar. Uh, so, are you telling me I can have both of these guys? Let's go. Okay. So what's this? Backstep strike. You shift two tiles backwards and shoot a boomerang forward. Interesting. Okay. And then swallow flip instantly launch four attacks on targets within two vertical tiles dealing 22 physical damage each. That seems very good as well. Okay. We'll have to try both of those. I'm definitely seeing that the, the effects... Okay. We, we cannot do anything here. That's just the uh, same old, same old familiar, familiar crystal. I'm seeing that a lot of your your strategy comes from using your your things here, all right? So I'm gonna move this way. He just died on spikes. Can we can we force that to occur? So let let's try this. So that it pushes me back. I really like the pushback. Never going to do that. I'm going to blink to here. Look this way. I'm going to wait one turn. And then I'm going to hit it. 
Skill on cooldown. Crap. Crap. I, I messed it up. No, never mind. That'll work. Okay, so now he's inflamed. And what if we just, like, keep sending him into the fire? So he didn't actually go into the fire a lot. Headhunter rifle? No. Is not good enough. Missile guard. He did a meteor shower on top of me. Which feels a, a little rude. Okay. I, I think I need to blink out of here. Because my dude... This guy sucks. Like, a lot. Okay. I'm... I'm... Scorched and inflamed. Okay. I'm seeing that this is not good to just continue to sit in the fire repeatedly forever. Oh my god. I will die. Okay. Get get out of the fire. I'm still scorched. I will die. Okay. I'm bad. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm bad. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. I know I said I was ready to get out of the tutorial. Apparently, I was not ready to get out of the tutorial because I'm actually bad. Okay. You know what? We learned, we learned a lot there though um because we we clearly need to rethink the way that we handle uh handle some rooms also the alchemist is here would you like to be the test subject for my latest potion sure what what do you got what do you got what do you got tell me what you got tell me what you got what you really really want uh okay oh my we have a full full thing Oh, okay, so these are these are upgrades, okay. Elixir container upgraded, your elixir has an extra use. Cool. Let's then potions are boost permanently. Okay. Cool. Now how do I get a potion? I have a feeling that we're gonna get them inside of the the place. And we can now find potions that can can help us out. I'm with it. That is going to do it for this episode of Crown Trick, though. If you're interested in some more of this, which I am actually very interested. This is my kind of game. Uh, I, I really, really enjoy this. If you're interested in seeing more, please let me know. And I might make this a little mini-series. Or I might make the decision to make it a mini-series before this comes out. And it'll not say Alexa look in the title anymore. We'll see. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. You have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.